Today's video is presented to you by the EA Creator Network. Special thanks to EA for letting me get early access to Madden 24 to capture this video for you today. If you want more exclusive Madden 24 content, be sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you never miss an upload. What's going on everybody? We got some exclusive early capture Madden 24 gameplay for you guys today. Just want you to keep in mind what you are about to see is still a early build. It's a work in progress, but I hope you enjoy the gameplay. It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Houston Texans and the Carolina Panthers. All that and more coming up next. On a warm afternoon in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina, EA Sports brings you to Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Carolina Panthers. Joined by Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And CD, the Panthers come into 2023 with a lot of new faces, most notably, of course, at head coach and at quarterback. But what do you think it would take for them to emerge on top in the NFC South? Better efficiency on offense, partner. I think they continue to beef up the offensive line, add to the playmakers on the perimeter, and run the football with some authority. Pair that with the defense. It's been pretty good for the last few seasons. This team has a chance to take charge in a wide-open NFC South. And meanwhile, for the Houston Texans, the future is now. They take C.J. Stroud out of Ohio State, number two overall. And we will see him get the nod as starter in this one. <laughs> and you and I laugh privately often when teams say, well, we want him to sit and learn. Come on, if you take him that high, play him right away. Go ahead and get him started. And we'll see him do exactly that in this one. Here's the former UCLA Bruin, Kaimi Fairbairn, to get this one started. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. This fielded right at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. So first and 10 now from the 30. One of the Panthers' big off-season acquisitions. Here's Miles Sanders. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Young's throw taken in by Chark. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse. And he cannot get away, and Young will go down. Christian Kirksey. The O-line can't stop him, and he gets the sack. But well, you just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan? Introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They said a load a big way there with a loss of double-digit yards on that sack. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. On the draw, here's Sanders. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. Desmond King back deep. Taken in at the 11. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return, and the Texans will take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he has advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. Stroud to the air on first and 10. Over the middle, that's caught by Mechie. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and three at the 28 yard line. That's the end of the first quarter with no score. No score after one on EA Sports. Texans football to start quarter two, as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. On second down, here's Pierce. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And Stroud now to throw. Complete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, here's Cameron Johnston on to punt for Houston. That's returnable now for Smith. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They've been playing the field position game thus far. No score, second quarter as they come up on first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight, and it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now a first down throw for Young. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a prop. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. DJ Chark, a 22-yard touchdown grab. 
And the Panthers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left. More than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up the third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Going for it with Pierce. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Here's Smith to return it. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. It's Young on first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay inbounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Able to complete this to Chanel. And he is going to have the Panthers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They got to walk that walk, baby. Let's go. 
Young off the play fake. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Christian Kirksey. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Let's go, baby. Turn it up. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Young. And he'll just get rid of him. What a sequence there defensively. You get the sack to move him to third and long. Then here, just nothing available. And he's got to throw it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now here's Young. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, a pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup. Bounce didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point is still anybody's game at seven to nothing, as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one-up one another. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. A run by Pierce begins the second half. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They run with the former Buffalo Bill, Devin Singletary. That good for 19 and a first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Yeah. 
So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Stroud working out of the gun. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. There's a nice move. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 50 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. That's the end of the third quarter with the score Panthers. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. Third and goal, Stroud. And got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Dalton Schultz, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. First down throw for Young. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. 
Young to throw again on second and ten. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. A big play in this football game. Third down and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. That throw by Young incomplete. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Young. And that's complete to Sanders. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. What can they draw up now? Time to find out on a third and eight. Here's Young. And that is incomplete. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation, and now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made in my estimation. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Texans are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Here's first and ten. Here's Stroud. That's complete to Pierce. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Well, that's a good first step, but several steps still to go. They still have time for the possible game-winning field goal. Time for them to be quick and hurry at the same time. Here comes second down. Now Stroud. He's got a man complete. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Well, this crowd trying to force a false start here. Third and inches. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. Now the Panthers going to use.
use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So a big one coming here for Kaimi Fairbear. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And a costly win there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. The Carolina offense about ready to go. They can still get into field goal range, partner. They got to work quickly, though. I agree with you totally. Find a way to get the ball downfield and out of bounds. In a perfect world, they know what hash they want to get to for their kicker, and they already know the distance that he feels comfortable. That'll dictate what they do on offense. See if they can get in his range. Into the hands of Sanders. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. And that one will go down in the books as just a one-play drive and then three points tacked on to the end of it. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Now Young. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Another try, second and ten now. Young to throw. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So it'll all come down to the right foot of Eddie Pinheiro. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This from 55 yards out. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Well, this one, partner, was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won, <laughs> and fun for us, because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.